up everyone so today is the third day of 2020 i started working yesterday like officially going back to meeting my colleagues running some errands packing stuff and i was working from like 1 p.m till 1 a.m yesterday so i didn't get to go for my morning workout today um, but instead i went for a run close to my house because i feel really guilty if i don't go work out today and right now i just finished getting ready i'm still really loving this new lash extension uh -huh. um, i'm going to go meet up with a friend that i met on instagram a few months ago her name is cheryl and she's from singapore and she's in town so i'm just meeting up with her at a cafe that i haven't been to called sunbather it looks really good on instagram so i'm looking forward to it <laughs> As usual, no. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hack a hack a presentation. Hack a present, is that? In a hack the launch. And is that forty five minutes? Currently in the house of uh, Deborah. What's your saloon name? I have no idea. Yoohoo! It's so exciting! Okay. Where you get this plastic from? <laughs> Just randomly search in my cupboard. Not bad, huh? Like chop chop it. I guess I have no choice. It's already on my hair. <laughs> yeah. Post hair coloring meal while waiting for my hair. Waiting for your hair. Which, really honestly, cool. I don't know what color it's gonna turn out because it looks really purplish right now. <sighs> <laughs> What kind of red would you say this is? Hmm? The bottom part is not pink. The bottom is pink. Oh yeah. Because it was bleached before. Mm. Yeah. We'll see after dry is another different thing. Loving oh, my right, hair right. colour. It's so nice. Yeah, it's super nice. Look at this hue. Yeah, I like the pink hue at the end. Yeah. So good. On purpose, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Debbie. No. I'm gonna call you Debbie. I call you Debbie. I call you Debbie. Debbie. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, I feel like okay. a superhero now. Yeah. Wow, my hair color is bright. So empowering. Yeah. 
Today is a very sad day. I'm wearing black because I'm mourning my day. So ever since last night, for some reason, I was locked out of my Instagram account. And when I tried to log in back again, um, I wasn't able to. And I received this message that says that I had violated against terms of use of Instagram. And I would have to appeal. And I did that, but I didn't get any response from them since then. It's been more than 12 hours, for sure. And I haven't heard back from them. It's less than 24 hours. Some say that they would respond between 24 to 48 hours. Some say that um, they never gotten the response. I am definitely hoping for the best because I have no idea what I did. I didn't do anything that's against the policy. And so I'm really taken aback right now and I'm really frustrated and annoyed. For the biggest chunk of today, I was just frustrated, emotional. I'm feeling like I'm being treated really unfairly for nothing. Like for, I didn't do any mistakes and I got punished for nothing, right? But I'm starting to be more calm and I've decided to be more patient um, about this entire situation. And honestly, at this rate, I don't mind starting a new account but I would really like to have access to all the old photos or videos that I posted that's what's really hurting me I just want access to all this old stuff that I posted but yeah like it really got me thinking I mean it got me realize how addicted to Instagram I am like every time I'm free I would just go to the Instagram icon and press on it even now that I can't access it I still unknowingly like habitually just go and click on a button and then I remember and that annoyed me so I just decided to uninstall the app because there's no point looking at it right now I should just uninstall it take it as a social media cleanse and I guess in a couple of days if they still don't get back to me I would start a new account I'm going to leave this to God maybe he has bigger plans for me I don't know I mean of course it also got me thinking like it's time to also not just focus on Instagram, but get back on YouTube, focus on my website, you know, publishing things on Pinterest or, you know, focusing on my email list. There are always so many other methods to be in touch with my community. And it's time for me to work on those instead of just focusing everything on Instagram. Because who knows, one day Instagram's going to break down or get sold off or, you know, they decided to start charging. It's going to be crazy. So I guess it's, I'm, I'm trying to be positive here and to decide that you know and to 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 really take this as a good learning lesson and a good reminder for me to not just focus on Instagram all the time but yeah trying my trying to get myself up there still loving this new hair <laughs>
what's up everyone so just to update you guys about the whole instagram situation it has been three days since i lost my account and i've been appealing for like maybe four or five times to instagram and i'm just quietly waiting for this and you know i feel like i've come to terms with it what really like upsets me is that i won't get access to all the photos and videos that i've posted before so i'm going to keep appealing to get those back. um but in the meantime i'm taking this as like you know i'm taking this with a positive note to take this as a chance to start with a clean slate on instagram so i'm in a process of like you know planning my new account and strategizing it hopefully like it will be up in a couple days getting a little bit too long I didn't know that just January itself was so eventful for me so I'm grateful and I decided to split the video into two parts um, the next video should be coming up in a couple days so if you haven't already subscribed to my channel be sure to do so and also turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when I post a new video okay I'll catch you in the part 2 video very soon